legendary. They give everything, they work tirelessly, they don't complain. They are an example to our scholars of what it means to be part of a community. They show them, by example, what it looks like to be a leader, to be selfless, to have empathy, to care for others. They take care of each other. They take care of our scholars. They take care and care for the leaders in this building. You wouldn't believe it, but they check in with us because they know that this work can be heavy and it can be tiresome. And they know what it takes. I see the relationships that they have with the teachers that they support. I see the relationships that they have with the children. My own scholar who attends here at Legends has a deep love for one of the fellows that he works with, Miss Nia. He affectionately calls her his school mom. And she decided that, no, 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 we should be brother and sister, so they shifted that a little bit. But I say that to share how much our children connect with these near peers. And that was the whole point of the Legends Fellow Program, to bring in young people who the children, our young scholars, would be able to connect with. Young people who are also looking to figure out what is my next step? How will I make my mark on the world? And so they get to have this parallel process. And it's such a wonderful thing to watch as the year grows. As you see our, our young scholars who are here learning and growing, and their fellows also learning and growing alongside them. It is really my pleasure to be the school counselor here. I learn so much every day from the scholars. It was quite amazing. I made it through most of the year not needing to sub an entire class and my colleagues laughed at me because they were like, ah, joke's on you. It's your turn now, you're up. But it was a gift. I got to spend the entire day with the sixth grade class. We listened to music. We did our end of the year survey. We laughed, we talked, we listened to Mr. Telephone Man. I was shocked because who knew that they would really know that song and be into it? They were into it. But it was such a wonderful experience to share time. And that is really what this is all about. As the director of social emotional learning, it is my job to support our scholars, our staff, everyone in our building, in building relationships, in connecting, in understanding that we are all on a journey. And some of us may be a little bit further in that, in that process, and some of us may need some support. There may be a day that I'm not living my best SEO life, and somebody needs to pull me to the side and say, Mr. Bush, you okay? It may be a day that I'm the person who comes and says, are you okay? Did you eat? What is happening for you? Because that should be the question, right? What is happening for you? Not what is wrong with you. Not why did you do that? What is happening for you? What is important to you? What do you need? How can I support you? How can we engage? That is what this is all about here at Legends Charter School. It is not just that we want our scholars to be great academicians, but we want them to be good people. And how can you be a good person if you cannot connect? Our world would be such a better place if we all took the time to find and grow and nurture connection. Thank you. That's good. And so I challenge you as you go home into your spaces and your communities to think differently when you look at your scholars, when you look at your family, when you look at your spouse, your partner, your person, your colleague, and think, what is happening for you? Are you happy? Are you okay? Are you content? What is it that you need? And so with that, because I'm sure I'm past my time, <laughs> I'm going to ask Ms. Uh, Johnson to go ahead and show a video that really allows you to see our scholars living in the Hello, I'm Andrew Lawson, and, to, and today I will be talking with you about social and emotional learning. So social and emotional learning is great because if you need to like, you need to be happy in order to be nice to people. 